welcome to this online service from St Mark's Church in Bromley, a service of word and music on the third Sunday of Advent. Today is Gaudete Sunday and we light the pink candle, the rose-coloured candle which you see before you on the Advent wreath. The other candles you remember are purple. It's rose because Gaudete literally means rejoice and this halfway point of Advent, we now look with joy to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to that end, today, the Gospel reminds us of the ministry of John the Baptist. And I've reflected that in our prayers today. The epistle which I read after this introduction from Thessalonians exhorts us to rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always. Happy Gaudete Sunday. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. My brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. And may the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful. And he will do this. Thanks be to God. The Gospel is taken from John, chapter 1, verses 6 to 8 and 19 to 28. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then he, they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? 
he said, I am the voice of the one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptising if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptise with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptising. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. The response to the words, Lord, hear us, is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, who promised Zachariah a son filled with the spirit and power of Elijah to prepare a people fit for the Lord, we pray for reconciliation between all people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. May she who believed your promise be blessed among women, and may we proclaim with joy the good news of your Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, at John's birth, Zachariah proclaimed he would be the prophet of the Most High, we pray for all who preach the good news. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, when your son came to the Jordan and was baptised by John, he saw the heavens open and the Spirit descending as a dove. May we who are baptised into your church faithfully proclaim in the world the words of your blessed Son. Lord, hear us. 
Lord graciously hear us. Lord God, John the Baptist proclaimed your Son as the Lamb of God and John's disciples followed Jesus. Help us to follow him also and by our words and deeds to bring our families and friends closer to you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, who sent John to witness to the light, to be the voice of one crying in the wilderness and to prepare the way of the Lord, comfort your people and bring your healing to the sick and needy, to the broken-hearted and the oppressed, to prisoners and captives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, John preached the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and suffered imprisonment and death for proclaiming your law. We remember all who have died in your service. Joining our prayers with John the Baptist and all the saints, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, in your tender compassion, the dawn from on high has broken upon us. Shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and guide our feet into the way of peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with you now and remain with you always. Amen.